Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this fire effect in Photoshop. We will use only some fire brushes. No images will be used through this tutorial. Please like the video and let's get started. Step 1. Create the fire. First, open the image you want to work with. After that, select the brush tool and import the brushes from here. I have made these brushes particularly for this tutorial. You can download them for free from the description below. You will get four fire brushes, two smoke brushes and another two brushes for the particles. Now let's create the fire effect. For example, choose the Fire 4 brush, then change the foreground color to FF9C00. Click OK and let's create a new layer. Start painting over your layer like that. You can press Ctrl and Z to undo a step if you want. Just keep painting in the same direction of the fire. Let's speed up this part. You should draw whatever shape you like and also fill the empty spots for a thicker effect if you want. After finishing, duplicate your layer with Ctrl and J. Then change the blend mode to Vivid Light. Duplicate it again with Ctrl and J and change the blend mode to Color Dodge. Select the background layer and create a black solid color under the three layers. This black color will give the fire a more realistic look like this. Now hold the shift key and select all four layers. Then right click and convert them to a smart object. Now I want you to remove this black color. Simply with your layer selected, go to select and choose color range. Choose sample colors and pick the black color like that. Increase fuzziness to a value above 100 and make sure the invert is checked. Then click OK. We've just selected the black color and inverted our selection to select the fire itself. Now create a layer mask to hide the black color. Change the blend mode to screen. Create a curves layer. Create a clipping mask to the fire layer. Then drag the curve like that. Now let's move to the next step. Step 2. Add smoke and particles. Select the brush tool, then go and select any smoke brush. I will take the smoke 1 brush, then create a new layer below the fire layer. Start painting over your layer with a black brush like that. This will reveal the fire details as you can see. If your image is bright like mine, you will need to paint a bit more. Let's speed up this part. Select your layer and add another new layer above it. Change brush to particles 1. Then start painting over your layer like that. You can increase the brush size for larger particles. After finishing, Go and select both Smoke and Particles layer and group them with Ctrl and G. Name the group as you like and also group the other two layers. Let's add some glow to the fire. With the fire group selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Then right click it and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. Change radius to 450 pixels, then click OK. Change blend mode to screen. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Double click the Gaussian blur filter to edit it, then change its radius to 300 pixels. Duplicate it again with Ctrl and J, then change it to 150. Then click OK. Collapse all three layers and let's see the before and after. Cool! Now let's add some glow to the object itself. Just pick the soft rounded brush 
and change the foreground color to FF9C00. Create a new layer and decrease the brush size. Decrease both opacity and flow to 20%. Start painting over your object like that. Then change the blend mode to overlay. Group the four layers by selecting them using the shift key. Name the group as you like. And let's move to the final step. Step 3. Adjustments. First, reset your color from here. Just make the foreground color black and the background color white. Create a gradient map layer like that. Change the blend mode to hard light. Decrease the opacity to 60%. I want to make the gradient map affect only the fire. I will steal the selection of the fire from this glow layer. Just hold the control key and then click on the layers thumbnail to select it. Now the fire has been selected. Go to the select menu to inverse the selection. With the black color in the foreground, go and select the gradient map mask. After that, press Alt and Backspace to fill the mask with that black color. As you can see, this will remove the gradient map from all around the fire and limit it only to the fire itself. Now press Ctrl and D to remove the selection. Finally, let's create a curves layer. Make a small S-shape to increase the contrast of your image. Change the channel to red and make another small S-shape to add some red color to your image. Now hold the ALT key and drag and drop the gradient map mask on the curves mask to paste it there. Click OK to replace and let's see the before and after. Here is an extra tip. If you want to increase the density of your fire effect, just create a new layer below the fire group and add some smoke on the spots you want. Select any smoke brush and start painting over your layer like that. And if you want to decrease the fire density, just remove some smoke from the existing smoke layers. That's it for today. Please like the video and subscribe for more free tutorials. And if you need any help, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.